Last year, 120,000 students took the AP Environmental Science test. We are six of them. To us, climate change happens on paper, in a classroom, within the walls of our high school. Yet these lessons failed to prepare us for the stark realities that lay just a few miles ahead. Our journey to understand the social injustices of a changing climate has brought us to Highway 530, five miles out from Darrington, Washington, a surprisingly and incredibly beautiful site. I just think it's beautiful, like, where we live is a once-in-a-lifetime opportunity. Like, I know I'll probably venture out in this world, but the mountains will always welcome me home. Andrea and Amy are residents of small-town Darrington. They lead lives like any other American teenager. After school, a lot of us just go up in the mountains or something, drive around. Some do homework, some don't, I guess, <laughs> depending on the person. That's a normal day, really. But last year, a surrounding area just miles away was hit by the biggest landslide of the century. It is no secret that the Pacific Northwest is landslide country. When 118 inches of rain is introduced to dry earth over the span of a year, the slopes west of the Cascades saturate and provide fertile ground for landslides. The warming climate has evaporated snow pack and precipitated, giving the rainy town an even heavier downpour, leaving a pronounced trail of devastating landslides in its wake. We love when the fresh snow comes, and this year it didn't, and we were all pretty bummed because like, it snowed once this year and we didn't even get like an inch out of it. Most of the time it snows and then like everyone gets in their trucks and like goes around drifting around town and stuff or goes up in the mountains, go on snow runs all the time. And this year we didn't have it. It was really odd for some people. And because of climate change, I feel like our town could eventually disappear. The increasingly frequent storms pour heavy rain over just a couple of days, a dangerous combination for Osa's many dirt slopes. We have a lot of landslides happening, little ones. That was the biggest one that we've had so far, but it wouldn't be surprising if another slide had happened or will happen in the future. When discussing the problem of climate change, it is common practice to reason that there are greater problems to deal with. Climate change will just have to wait. What we can't seem to understand is that the word environment is all-encompassing. By refusing to alter our lifestyle and placing the responsibility of our actions in someone else, we perpetuate the injustice served to communities such as Oso and Darrington, condemning the continued existence of everything we ever knew. It's a lot more effective than people think it is. I know a lot of locals around here will be like, well, it's not me doing it. Like, somebody else can solve the problem, but it's everybody contributes to the problem. This isn't some issue for scientists and politicians to fix. This is our world. This is our problem. This is our responsibility.